So, damit komme ich jetzt zum Jahr This brings me to 2010. 2010 was already a year of chemistry for BSF. It was a record year. And this cannot just be seen in our excellent figures. I am going to present in greater detail later on. 2010 has also taken us forward in our goal of expanding our leading position. We have further optimized our portfolio through the integration of the CIBA activities and the acquisition of Cognis. In the Styrenics business, we are making good progress in bringing together our activities with those of INEOS in the Styrolution joint venture to create added value and become number one in the world for Styrenics. We are investing in growth markets. Examples include the expansion of our Verbund site in Nanjing, China, and plans for new specialty chemical plants in Malaysia together with our partner Petronas. We are securing our future by further increasing our investment in research and development. We are continually working on improving our sites, plants and processes. For example, we are increasing our operational excellence through numerous individual projects, about 500 in connection with the next program launched in 2008. From 2012, we plan to achieve an earnings contribution of more than 1 billion euro annually. Our positive figures reflect BSF's growing momentum. The capital market also recognizes this. Our share price in December 2010 reached an all-time high and rose by more than 37 percent in the course of the year. With dividends reinvested, the increase in the share price of BSF was almost 43 percent. So BSF shares outperformed the stock markets worldwide. Our shareholders will benefit from the strong earnings for 2010 as well, and our workforce also. You already received this information. We will suggest to the supervisory board and the AGM to increase the dividend by 40, 45, no, 50 euro cents per share, which means a return of 3.7 per cent, i.e. the dividend will be 2.20 per share. Now the current figures. We achieved record sales and earnings in 2010. In the chemicals business in particular, we were able to take advantage of the strong economic recovery in 2010, which was more dynamic than all of us, including you, initially expected. In the first half of the year, demand was additionally driven by inventory restocking in key customer industries. There were even temporary supply bottlenecks for some products. Higher raw materials costs could largely be passed on to customers, and in this favorable market environment, margins improved for many products. Positive impulses from all regions contributed to the double-digit sales growth. North America and Europe performed well, and Asia, I have to say, was booming with China turbocharging growth. Consumers in Germany have become more optimistic, and the domestic economy picked up. Compared with 2009, total sales therefore rose by 26 percent to reach almost 64 billion euro. Income from operations before special items increased 68 percent to 8.1 billion euro. And what is especially important in 2010, this is very important, we again earned a premium on our cost of capital with a record premium of 3.5 billion euro. The business environment was also favorable in the fourth quarter. Sales versus the same quarter in the previous year rose 25 percent, and with 16.4 billion euro, we reached the highest of any quarter in 2010. A bit before special items, however, at around 1.8 billion euro was below the level of the previous quarters. 
the reasons, including in particular higher provisions for the long-term incentive program as a result of the strong increase in BASF's year-end share price. Secondly, another provision for the additional special payment for the first time in BASF's history of 50 million euro to our employees worldwide in appreciation for their excellent crisis management over the past two years. And last but not least, a one-time cost or cost charges for accelerated maintenance and restructuring measures in various divisions in order to allow for a good start in 2011. Overall, this resulted in one-time costs of over 200 million euro in the fourth quarter. BSF has had a very strong start to 2011, and this is why we are optimistic for the first quarter and for the year as a whole. One positive result of this is that the total number of BSF employees in the course of the year will increase by about 2,900 worldwide. And the focus, of course, is on Asia, but also Europe will be able to participate in this. Germany will have a share of 800 additional employees, and Ludwigshafen, as this is important here as well, will hire around 500 new employees in 2011. Outlook for full year 2011. Our outlook for the full year 2011 is based on the following economic forecast. Solid global economic growth, plus 3.3 percent. Significant growth of global chemical production, in brackets excluding pharmaceuticals, plus 5.2 percent. An average euro-dollar exchange rate of 1.35 dollar per euro, and an average oil price of 90 US dollars per barrel in 2011. In 2011, we aim to slightly increase sales volumes and sales, excluding acquisitions or divestitures. In addition, sales should rise as a result of the inclusion of Cognis by around 3 billion, which on an overall basis will lead to significant sales growth. Due to the strong regional differences in growth rates, the share of our total sales generated in Asia and South America will increase. And regarding the current situation in Libya, we hope, as mentioned in the beginning, that things will calm down soon. We aim to significantly exceed the record 2010 level in income from operations. And we also expect to earn a high premium on our cost of capital once again in 2011. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to end on a personal note, not a political one, which I normally like to do here. I won't do this at the end of my presentation today. Today is my last annual press conference, and don't worry, I will not take time for review or taking stock, because that's up to you. But what I would like to tell you is that working together with you has been fun most of the time. You held a mirror up to us, and uh, you praised us for many things, and you sometimes criticized us on others, and I would like to thank you wholeheartedly, even though I may not always have been able to share your view of things in all respects, but of course that's in the nature of things. As you know, after the AGM on May 6th, a new executive team will start working um, in a new composition. Two members will leave, two new members will join, and Kurt Bock will accept the baton as the CEO. But I think I can assure you today that the new leadership team will continue to inform you as openly and transparently as ever. I personally wish the new leadership team all the best, of course, and I hope that the media will treat them as fairly as before in the way that I experienced it during my term. 
And finally, a personal comment. I think there's a secret at BASF. We have the most successful team. This is why we are successful. And so leading, of course, is fun when you have a good team. It is really fun. It's easy as well. And in the end, the result is success. And this is what BSF needs in future as well. And this is why I would like to tell you that I'm full of confidence. And now I look forward to answering your questions.